Now this is a very, very small pink jasmine vine, obviously. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you what the foliage looks like. Hi, it's Nell, and you just saw that fine specimen of a plant I just showed you. Well, that is a very small pink jasmine vine, and I was looking for one to do the video next to so I could show you the plant, but I couldn't find one here in Tucson. So you will see pictures taken by me and by Lucy throughout this video of that plant because this video is all about pink jasmine vine care. And what makes this twining vine so popular is the masses of starry white blooms it just gets covered with in late winter or early spring depending on where you are. It is, as I said, extremely fragrant. It's easy to find, easy to care for, and easy to grow. So those are some of its, some of its pluses. Now, as usual, there is a blog post to go along with this video. You can find it in the description box down below or on our website, which is joyousgarden.com. In terms of size, this plant gets to about 25 feet. And as I said, it's a twining vine. So it's not like a um, English ivy or something that clings, it twines. So it needs some method of support like um, an arbor or a trellis or a chain link fence. And you have to train it to get it going, but after then it just grabs on to whatever it can grab onto. And it's very fast growing and very dense. And in terms of hardiness, it is hardy to about 10 to 15 degrees Fahrenheit. If you were on the lower end of the scale, around 10 to 15 degrees, then it will lose some of its leaves and it is, in that case, semi-deciduous. Otherwise, if you don't get that cold, it'll stay evergreen. And in terms of light and exposure, it needs a good five hours of sun a day. If you are on the coast, say on, on the coast of California, it can take all day sun. If you're inland, like where I am here in Tucson, it would definitely need protection from the hot afternoon sun. It will grow in shade, but it'll get really leggy, really thin, and it won't flower. Now, in terms of watering, it does best with regular water, and that depends on where you are. I'm in a very hot climate, so regular water for me would mean more. Um, if you're in a coastal, more foggy climate, that might mean a good watering every two weeks. But it can go, it can go with extended dry periods after it gets established. But when it's getting established, it needs regular water and it looks best with regular watering. Now, in terms of fertilizing, I never fertilized any um, of the pink jasmines that I took care of. I was a professional gardener in the San Francisco Bay Area. I maintained a lot of them, but I never fertilized any of them. I would compost them occasionally and that was fine for it. But if you feel that yours needs fertilizing, you might want to give it a balanced fertilizer like 10-10-10 or 15-15-15. Now on to pests. Keep your eyes open for aphids. They tend to appear in the spring. You can just um, hose those off, uh, spray those off with the garden hose and that's a good way to get rid of those. Also, um, this plant could be subject to either spider mites or mealybugs, both of which you can get rid of with horticultural oil or an insecticidal soap. Now soil, not too fussy as to soil. It just likes it loamy and well-drained. If you can, um, co compost also. It will appreciate a good dose of organic compost too. Oh, and if you have it in containers, um, a good organic potting soil is just fine for it with a nice dose, again, of some organic compost worked in there. On to flowering. Oh yes, it does. And this is 
The big draw of this plant, when people see it in flower, they want it and they flock to the garden centers to buy it. But unfortunately, it only blooms once and it blooms for about four to five weeks is about all it tends to do. And it um, blooms, as I said, in late winter or into spring, depending on uh, you know, the climate zone. And the, the vine will get covered in flowers. So you can't even see the foliage. It's just a mass of those starry white blooms. And what I love about the flowers is the buds, the pink buds. And that is why it's called pink jasmine, but I think they're just as sweet as can be. Oh, and you might get a little bit of intermittent flowering off and on during the summer too. Now this plant really benefits from pruning. So we're gonna, gonna move on to pruning. It is a very, as I said, a very fast growing and very dense plant. And if it has something to cling to, it clings, but then if it doesn't, all of a sudden it'll fall back on itself and it just covers, covers itself. And what happens is that new growth will smother out the old growth and it all gets looking ratty and horrible. So it's best to keep up on the pruning and the pruning is best done after flowering. You can give it a good pruning and then you might have to do um, a little pruning at the end of the end of the summer too, just to keep it in shape. Now, as I said, it makes a fine container plant as long as the container is big enough to hold the root ball. And it's, you know, beautiful on arches and arbors. And if you can get it to climb up a wall, that's fine too with some training. That's another use for it. And I've also seen it um, in hanging baskets and growing on hoops and globes. Um, it's sold in the floral trade a lot for parties, events, and weddings. And it's beautiful when in bloom on a hoop. It makes a lovely centerpiece. Now, as a house plant, I've never grown it for the long haul. I brought it home from on an event a couple times and I had it for in my home for like two months and then I brought it back to the greenhouse. But I, I imagine it would be a tricky house plant to care for. But for short term, it works just fine. So I hope you have found this video to be helpful about the pink jasmine vine. Don't forget to check the blog post on this plant. There'll be more information in there for you. And now let's get out in the garden and make the world a more beautiful place. I thank you for all your likes and your subscribes. I really appreciate them. And I have a lot more videos coming your way. As always, I thank you so much for watching. Bye.